Hello there, Claudia. So grateful to have you here with me today. And finally, I'm diving into these speaking evaluations such as what I told you I was going to do. I'm very, very excited about this because you're going to see what you're saying, right? And so this is a software where I get your audio, I put your audio into it, and then I'm able to walk you through and show you exactly the things that you're doing right, the things that you're not doing right, and what type of advice and suggestions I'm going to give you, okay? So I'm very excited about this one because, you know, this is the first time we're doing it. And let's see how you go about structuring these three speaking evaluations that obviously you had given me, okay? So here we go. Let's dive into this. So it starts at about five seconds, but I'm going to go back just a little bit just to make sure. So here we go. Let's see how you go about this. I really believe that it's important for parents to teach uh, their kids how to manage money. I think in this way for two main reasons. Okay, so let's stop right there. That's the opening introduction, right? That was probably about 10 seconds. You had one filler. You were like, uh, okay. Now it's going to happen. The more you do it, the better you get. However, it's interesting because you say we believe that it's important for students. Now, you go from we, the personal pronoun we, to I. So what you have to do here instead is you, I believe, say I believe that it's important for parents to teach their kids how to manage money. And you think, well, again, I think this way, that's not bad. That's kind of like the TOEFL resources way of of doing things but nonetheless you could say and i believe and i believe this or and i'm going to give you two explanations or whatever it may be as long as you vary the words that you use because again obviously i think this way for two main reasons the first reason is the second reason is that's a very systematic way of doing it and if you must do it go on ahead and do it okay i've got no problems with that but if you believe that you could take it up a notch and give a variety of different things, such as what we've what I've already coached you on, then you could go that route. We're going to see the other two, but let's just go from there. OK, so here we go. Do you believe that it's important for parents to teach two main reasons? reasons. OK, uh, the first, one, first is one is the kids can know the real value of the money. So when you're a kid, you think the money comes from a tree doesn't matter what do your parents give you. So this way, teaching how to handle and manage money, they know exactly from where the money is coming. And the other reason. Is OK, so I'm going to stop right there. That's the first reason. OK, so here we go. The first one is that. OK, we're going to have to use a relative pronoun that. So let me just hurry up and switch it. The first one is that kids can learn, not know, but kids can learn the real value of money. We're not gonna say of the money, we're just gonna say of money, right? So when you were a kid, I love it because you did a comparison and contrast. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I like, all right? So when you're a kid, you think, okay? You think what? That money comes from a tree or the that money grows on trees. I believe that's what you're trying to say. It doesn't, uh, and you said tree doesn't matter what do your parents give you. So what I think you're trying to say here is, so when you're a kid, you think that money grows on trees. So you believe that, and you're gonna have to further drive home that point. Now, how can you go about doing that? Well, it doesn't matter what do your parents give you. Uh, that, that, that's not a point that we're trying to drive home. I believe that's a little bit irrelevant and it doesn't hit on that point in which you had said at the beginning, right? Because again, believing that money doesn't grow on trees means that, you know, money isn't forever present. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Money isn't everywhere. Money is hard earned, okay? So if you say, so when you're a kid, you think that money grows on trees, meaning, and I was just thinking about this, um, Oh my God, I was just writing the, oh, I forgot the phrase, I forgot the phrase. But what I'm trying to say here is on the, the writing course that I just wrote, in other words, there we go. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Okay, you think that money grows on trees. To further explain that, you could say in other words, 
and then give the fine definition of what that idiom is. Okay? And then after that, you uh, said so again. So this way, teaching how to manage, you know, what you're going to do is, again, you're going to give that idiom, idiom, you're going to say in other words, and then you're going to go into the definition of it. So then parents, or you could say, so it is important for parents to da 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 because of this reason. Do you see what I mean? That would have been phenomenal. And this is why the writing course and that speaking course, it's going to go so hand in hand. And I'm just so excited about it, seriously, because I literally was looking at so many things like, um, oh my God, re not recertification, re- Oh my God, there are a lot of different words and phrases and you're going to be seeing a lot of videos. I'm going to be putting previews everywhere. It's so good. It's so, so good. And I realized like, man, I've been saying so many of the same phrases when I do my speaking evaluations and when I teach. Now, by writing that course out, now I know so many other things that I can actually explain. So anyways, what you're doing is obviously money comes from a tree. That's an idiom. So in other words, define it. And then you're going to have to further like you're gonna have to close out that entire saying by okay, this is why it is important for uh, uh, for children to know the essence of money. Okay, and then you go on to say, and the other reason I'm gonna play and it right here. The other reason is in the future they can, they can save, save money, money easily and, easily and invest. invest probably their saving in something good for them. Okay, so you literally had seven seconds at the end. You literally had seven seconds at the end. Obviously, it says 51 seconds because the audio didn't start until the five or six second mark. So you still hit that mark, but you spent too much time again on the first reason. Remember, 30 seconds. I don't know how you're going to go about doing it, but as long as you build up that internal clock, you're going to do very well, right? Because here, because you only had a short amount of time, none of that made sense. In the future, they can save money and easily invest. You're going to have to give an example to one or two of them, okay? uh what well, you know not one or two uh either easily or both of them so how can you go about doing this and the other reason is that in the future they can save money so that they can invest such as and instead because you only have a short amount of time you such as i want you to write that down you such as to make a list so you don't have to go into examples invest into stocks bonds uh et etfs oh no no don't get into that uh, 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 unless you learn about it, uh, Bitcoin, <laughs> they're just scam. It's just scam nation. We're going to have to wait a few more years until that regulates itself. Uh, but real estate, okay. Invest into real estate, invest into businesses, invest into different things that you believe are going to flourish, invest into equity and, you know, have part ownership of different companies such as list one, two, three, four, because you only have about seven to 10 seconds. That would have been good. Someone saying that let's go into another one. Not bad. Not bad. Now, here we go. All right, we're going into the next audio. With this statement that the Strongly boss agree. manager shouldn't be friends uh, with their employees. Shouldn't be friends with their employees, okay? And again, you said, I think. I think it's because both of them could okay. take advantage of okay. this. Okay, all right. So it's all about just opening that up. So I think is because me i would say and the main reason behind this is because both of them could take advantage of one another or of this particular relationship and then you would go into relationship details relationship of this friendship, friendship in their job okay now really remember relationship of this friendship that doesn't make much sense right so you could just say both of them could take advantage of this specific relationship for example Okay, now you said in one hand, and then you're going to say on the other hand, which is it bad? That's actually pretty good. So let's see how you go. In one hand, the boss can start asking for extra job that is not your duty because you're their friends and why not? You can do it. And okay, well, uh, now we're not trying to ask rhetorical questions throughout our audio. That wasn't bad. The boss is going to start asking you to do extra jobs, which isn't in your job description that you could have stopped it right there. Or you could have said because you are closer or because you are friends, such as what you said, then stop it. We don't want to put a question. Okay. You can do it. No. Okay. Now, I don't know in one hand or on one hand is what you're trying to say. So let me just hurry up and do that. On one hand, this. In addition to that, are you going to drive home that point further or are you going to signal a contrast 
let's see how you go. Let's see what you do about in this. One hand, the okay, let me hurry up and fast stand. forward. In the other hand, the employee can feel like uh, they don't have to do a lot because they are a friend of the boss. So is it something really tricky? And for me, it's better to stay just like an employee and my boss there where they should be. Okay, so you see here, looking at your language, okay, you said they are a friend of the bulls. The audio picked it up as bulls, okay, but boss, right? So just saying, this might happen. So is it something? No, that's a question. So it is something. Now, the thing is, I hate using something because it's not too specific. Now, you could have said, as a result, this could be very tricky, but I believe in a conclusion that being friends with your boss would have more of a negative impact than a positive one. Boom. There you go. I just came up with that from the top of my head. That's a conclusion. You could have been able to put that at the end because what you said, you said, so it is something really tricky. And for me, it's better to stay just lots of MPG. I don't know what that you said by there. And that's what it picked up on the audio text. And my boss, there where should be. You see what I mean? That doesn't make much sense. So if you have put in the conclusion, such as what I just said, go back, okay, write it down and say, okay, Arsenio, all right. So I, if I have a little bit of time at the end, I don't want to just say a bunch of blah, 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 such as this last sentence, because it's grammatically incorrect. And that was just going to hurt you like hell when it comes to your speaking. Instead, use this. That's what you're going to do. All right. And let's get into the last one. All right. This is good. This is good. So here we go. In a personal, in my personal opinion, all right, here we go. In my personal opinion, I agree with this statement. Uh, if you Okay, now, 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 we have to restate the statement. Okay, we got to restate the statement. Now, you can't just open it up and say, in my personal opinion, I agree with this statement. What statement? Okay, you could just say, in my personal opinion, and then you could restate it. So we're talking about success in business, right? And so you would just have to restate it slightly. And then you could go into the if conditional in which you had said right here and go and continue going on. Okay. So let's see. If you want to succeed want in, success business, in business, you need to be outgoing and friendly person. And, for and, me, uh, actually, and a friendly to... person. So I believe this is exactly what you are trying. That's what it was. And so what you could do is grab that and put that in with the opening introduction so you don't waste time because you're already about what is it 12 seconds in and you're getting into the bulk so just in business you have to be like this in whatever area of your life if you want if to you want to succeed. succeed but in business Example. it's more important because you have to create connections for Good. other people that are in the same situation like you mm -hmm. and probably can give you advices or you advice. uh, the opportunity that are you looking for that you so are looking for me being uh friendly uh, easy going okay so here we go these are your two main points but in business more important to create connections why are the connections important also you then went on to say people like you probably can give you advice so you went from creating connections to people giving you advice now, what exactly is that like? How is that pertaining to the overall success and the friendliness that in which you need to be successful in business? So, friendliness and creating connections. How? And then people giving you advice or opportunities. How? Now, if you had said, "Oh," and people would potentially give you advice to further create more opportunities based on your personality and how outgoing you are, you know, you would have to like come full circle with everything. I feel like you did not do that. It feels like just okay, but in business is more important because you have to create connections with other people that are in the same situation, such as what, like you. What's the situation? And probably give you advices. Why would they give you advice? or opportunities. Why would they give you an opportunity? It's always a question with what you say, okay, that you are looking for, okay? What are the opportunities that you are looking for that they would give you and give you advice on? You see, I'm always thinking ahead of the game. What is, what are these punk ass E-graders? <laughs> what are these people who are actually great in the TOEFL? By speaking, how are they gonna go about, okay, there's always a question with what you say, just as what I just did. So that's why it is up to you to say, okay, Arsenio, I get what you're saying. Okay, I need to always ask myself and give better examples to everything. 
That's what we're going to have to do. So in these three questions, you see what I did here. Okay, the opening introductions. Okay, driving home the points. There's some little grammatical errors. But most, and, and if we look at all of these, obviously the success in business was a little bit harder. Uh, you know, your boss and whatnot. Um, uh, 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 creating a better conclusion. Okay, there's some relationship of this relationship. We're going to have to clean that up. Uh, you know, on one hand, on the other hand, uh yeah yeah again your your uh what is it the points that you made and drove home were pretty solid in this speaking uh in this speaking question and then obviously uh learning the value of money okay i told you about the whole in other words that pertains to obviously the writing course and stuff so there are some things that we're gonna have to get a little bit better at i don't want you to feel you know disconcerned and say oh my god i'm so concerned about you know everything right now oh my god oh my god oh my god no 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 just calm down everything's gonna be all right you're just gonna have to always ask those questions, figure out the conclusion, make sure the introduction's good, make sure the, the ideas are very cohesive. And this is why I love doing these speaking evaluations because now you see what you say. And when you see what you say, it's not like, oh my God, I'm bad, it's ooh. There are many areas I can get better at right now. That is called a growth mindset, a fixed mindset is someone who says, oh my God, I'm not good, I'm not good, I'm not good. See, that's a fixed mindset. A growth mindset is, ah, I know where I need to improve. And that's exactly what you're gonna have to do from here on out. So here we go. We got much more work to do and I'll be seeing you in the next one.